Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Autonauts. We are going to, I think, automate all of these this tool making right here. So we gotta do what? We gotta do these gears, the wheels, hose, mallets, blades, fishing stick, which we've never used yet. Um, this can probably be repurposed to something else. And then, what else can we make? And then probably be a bunch of stuff with workbenches and maybe with bot upgrades as well. So yeah, let's get into that. Let's get started, shall we? So let's see, probably gears and mallets are probably, I thought we had someone doing mallets already. Where's our equipment makers? Uh, what a mallet maker, where's he at? Oh, they're waiting for logs, that's right. All of our bots died because our crinker bot died. And I just recharged him at the end of the last episode. So everything should be starting to filter through now. So that's gonna take a bit. So we got axe, flail, pick, spade, mallet. So this top row and the mallet. All right, so let's get, we need one, two, we need a bunch of bots, so let's just get started with these. Let's see, let's collapse all these. Uh, crank maker, why are you? Where are these makers at? Wood processing? No. Panels? No. Holes? No. Frames and panels, there you are. Let's add crank maker to that. Sure. Crank maker, you can go there. So now we got this brand new bot. He's all charged up already, so you're gonna be crude gear maker. And let's see, what do we even need for this? Oh, just a plank, easy. So what we can do is to just power through gear making. We'll just grab four planks at a time. Make sure we get all rid of all the excess. And then we go make four gears. Pretty sure one plank makes one gear. Yeah. It's not any sort of double output or anything. Three and four. He does only have, well, the cr crude gears actually take two hand slots. So this is gonna be a little different to code. So then we do that, we drop that in there. Okay, so now let's figure out the coding. Move to storage, then we're gonna take, until hands are full is fine, because we're taking four. Same thing, move to workbench, until hands are empty, we do four. So that make four gears. And then twice, we need to, well actually until hands are full, find a gear, move to it, pick it up, add it to storage until hands are empty. Oh god, what am I doing? Until hands empty, and then we need to loop that entire thing. Wait, what? What just happened there? Uh, undo. And then we need to do this whole thing twice because it's gonna take two tri trips for him to do that. And I think that's good. And then we can actually loop the whole thing into until this storage is full. That is perfect. No wasted brain power on that. And let's see what he does. Let's hurry up and get these gears over here. There you go. So I think that one's done. Let's watch him for one cycle just to make sure that goes okay. Equipment builder. All right, so he should make four here. Actually, while he's doing that, let's rename this one. So you're gonna be Crude Wheel Maker. Okay, let's see, does he take two? He takes one and two. Now you should go deposit them both. Now he should do it again. And then he should be making more gears. Beautiful. Cool. That was an easy one. What does this take? Two planks. Oh, so this is going to be the same sort of concept. So watch me. Go take a bunch of planks. 
Planks are actually the thing that are hurting right now the most. Just because we do have... A bunch of things taking planks to make. And then also, we're making poles out of the planks. So our plank storage is kinda low at this point. Okay, how many wheels does this make? There's one? Alright. And then how many can we pick up? Oh, we can pick up both. Cool. So that's also an easy one to program. Until hands are full. And until hands are empty, pretty standard. And then until hands are full, find and pick up. And then add it to storage until your hands are empty. And then all in a giant loop to do it until the storage is full. And then that should also be good. I don't think we need to watch this one. That one is pretty straightforward. Equipment builders. And what is this? Crude hoe. I don't even know what we use a hoe for. Because we have axe, a spades to dig. What was the hoe for? I feel like we used the hoe once. But what was it for? Does this show us? Hoe, what do you do? Okay, we can't see what it does. It's got to do something with like the sear. Oh, it's for grass, right? That's what it was. To cut down grass. Oh no, that was the. We just used the blade for the grass, I think. So I don't. It wasn't for the grass. I don't even know where grass is. Outfits. There we go. Yeah, that's just a blade. Maybe it's in here. No. Huh. Maybe it's cotton. Dirt plus cotton seed equals cotton crop. I honestly don't know what the hoe is for. Huh. Oh, no, scythe. Scythe. Bunch of stuff with like the scythe and stuff, but nothing with the hoe. I don't quite remember what we used it for. It doesn't hurt for us to get that though. Actually, let's do blades first because this requires blades. Blades is just two stones. That should be easy enough. Is it crude blade maker as well? I don't remember if this one was considered crude. It is. Alright, just two stones. Again, simple. We can make two at a time then. Oh, I still have a wheel in my hand. Whoops! Let's go deposit that. Hey, why is he not? Why is he not working? Find nearest crude wheel. Wait, what? How are you on that step? Oh! We are missing until hands are full. Take planks. Oh, I accidentally must have dragged this out for some reason. Alright, well, let's hurry up and fix this. We gotta add one more plank to get rid of this one that's on here. Should be doable real quick before he gets back. Let's hurry up and fix this. Alright. Now. Wait, that's not him. There you go. Blade maker, there you go. So gotta take stones. Four stones and add them to the workbench. We'll do that twice. This is pretty much the same exact setup as the wheels. Oh, why are you broken again? What? All right, we're gonna have to relook at that again. Okay, that should be good. Now you pick up and add it. There we go. Loop it. And until hands are full, until hands are empty, until hands are full, find it. Move to it, pick it up. Once your hands are full, go deposit them. Oh no! We don't want until hands full because his hands will never be full because he's only making two. So what we want is to do it twice then. We need to specify. That's what's going on. So this one will work properly, but now these, this other one is broken. 
So let's... Here's what we'll do. We'll make two more wheels so that way he'll finish the cycle and then we'll edit him. Because otherwise then I gotta like take the wheels out of his hands and then edit it. Kind of all, all jumbled up doing it that way. So now he'll take two more wheels. And then now he'll go deposit because he's waiting until his hands were full. But they were never going to be full because he's waiting. There you go. Now we can stop him. And then we need to change this. Do twice. There we go. I think you can also do it another way. You can do until this is empty you take from it. So that way he'll just keep taking anything that's there until it's empty. That seems like another way to do it. I think twice is just an easier way. Makes more sense to me. Um, what else do we need? Mallets are going. Crude pick. So we got axe, spade, flail. What we need to do next. We just did blade. We have to do scythe. So scythe would be good here. Uh, we already got pick. We got mallet. Fishing stick is down there. We have wheel. We have gear. And I don't think we need to automate these last three just yet. Okay, so both of these take blades. So that's good that we got the blade thing going. So let's get let's get the hoe going. Crude hoe mecha. You need to do what? We'll just have them make one at a time. We probably could fudge it a bit to make two at a time, but that might be a little too much logic for him to handle. So let's just do one at a time instead. All right, take one from there, and then we plop down. So this should be fairly straightforward. And then I think we just, since everything's a single, we just loop it twice. And then we do this until this is full. Actually, we also got to pick it up, put it away. There we go. And all that can just be there. Nothing has to be nested in a different loop. So that should be good. And then we'll do the same with the crude scythe. Why am I spelling that wrong? Scythe? Scythe. Scythe maker. I hope I spelled that right. I think I spelled that right. Oh, I spelled it right. So same thing. Just need a blade. And then we need a stick. So blades are going to be hurting for a bit, which is fine because we were totally full on rocks for a while. So that's completely fine right now if that stone storage gets used up. All right, we take that and then we throw it in and then we loop it and then we loop it again until this storage is full. And we just highlight everything and throw it in the loop. And good enough. All right, last one. Fishing sticks. Just a pole. Easy. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, we're waiting for logs, aren't we? Did something else die? What's going on here? Oh, I think we need another log collector. Actually, where is our forestry team? Log collector, log collector. So they're collecting just there. This team, what? What is that big area? Stick collector. Oh. Log collector's there. So we got two log collectors there. Do we have two here? We do have two in both. So why are they so slow? Why are they not keeping up with this? They're both moving. Maybe we're just using way too many logs right now, trying to catch up with all of this massive wood production we got going. Okay, so while that's trying to work itself out... Oh, we got a bot here. Cool, so this bot will be the last one, which is the fishing stick. And that'll just be four poles. Easy enough, we'll make four at a time. Alright, fishing... Fishing stick... What is- what is going on? I am not even hitting the space bar. I can't even select him now. Oh, I picked him up. That's why. Jesus. Fishing stick. 
maker. And we'll take four bowls. I hate it, I click a little too fast and it adds that weight in. Okay, we only need to do it once. And then we add it. Where can I go? Oh yeah, I forgot the HUD repair guys are, or the, not HUDs, HUT. HUT, HUT, HUT. The HUT repair guys are taking just solid logs back and forth. And each of these take two logs to repair, so that's probably also where a lot of our logs are going currently. Okay, make four of these fishing sticks right quick. And then we pick them up. Oh, we can only pick up one at a time. All right. So this is a little different. Till hands are full. Take poles till hands are empty. So that'll make four. And then we need to do, I guess we just do this four times. So that actually isn't too bad to deal with. Four times, get the fishing sticks, put them in there. And again, do the whole thing until this storage is full. And we are golden. Let's put the other four away. Honestly, don't even know what the fishing sticks are for yet. Have yet to use them. How are we doing with our planned cooking? Crude cooking pot built. Why can't we build that yet? There was something we were missing. Oh, did we not have the research for it? Maybe that's it. Yeah, crude cooking pot. We don't have the research for it. Do we have research going? Do we have research going? We do. Oh, we're really close. Nice, we're gonna get log cabin. We'll see if that gets us colonist level three. I doubt it, but it might. We're actually not even keeping up with food production, it looks like. Or like just barely keeping up because we have an overabundance of apples, but our apple, wait. I thought we were just making, oh, this one's still doing berries. Okay, we have one for berries, one for apples. I got it. This should finish this research off real quick. There we go. What'd we get? Log cabin. That's it? How do we build this? Six straw. What? Does this upgrade at all? No, it doesn't. Okay. How does one get straw? Straw, straw, straw. Straw, use a crude flail on cereal. Cereal we get from scything cereal crop. Cereal crop we get from grains that go into soil. Grains we get from cereal. All right, we're gonna have to test that. Where is cereal? I know we have some around here. Oh, here's a bunch. Let's get a scythe out then. And let's go whack some stuff. Is this the right thing? It is, left click it. All right, let's see what this does. I'm guessing it's gonna give me, what was it, grain and straw? Wait, what did it just pop out? Two cereals, okay, so then, here, let me, let me drop this on the ground. So if I take these cereals, do I then whack these? No. Didn't it say, oh, it's a flail now, right? What is this? Where are you going? Hey! Hey! You just ate my food! Alright, I think now we need what? The flail. That's what it is. The flail makes grain. I thought that also made straw. Wait a second. Okay, so maybe it's a dual output. It'll make both. No, 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 no. No. You're not eating that. Bad. All right, let's see, will this work? Whack it, whack it, whack it. And we got, there we go, we got grain and straw. Is it only a one? Please, there's no way. There's no way we only get one from that. Here, let me take this back, this crude flail. Cause if we only get one, one seed back, that's just for making 
straw then? How do we ever increase our production if we're only getting one out of it? So then grain, what does grain make? Is that all grain makes is more cereal crop? That can't be right. There's got to be something else grain is for. Pastry, here we go. Butter, fresh water, good flour, grain. Yeah, so if we're using six grain to make flour, but the cereal only makes one grain, how do we ever get more to expand? Oh, this is taking two. That's right. That's right. The cow ate some. All right. That's what it was. Totally escaped my mind right there. So then each of these will give me one of each. So two straw and two seeds. Yeah. There you go. Let's put these over here. And actually, let's see what it is to make a log cabin real quick. How many was it? Six straw. All right, we can probably do that real quick. I just want to see if we throw like a colonist in there real quick, or if this is something else besides for colonists to sit in. I would have six if that cow didn't eat the first piece of crap right there. Yeah, you're eating this grass and yet you came all the way down here to eat my food. He's gonna come over here, isn't he? Isn't he? Oh my God, he is rushing. No, 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 no. Go, go back to your grass. There you go. Wait, wait, wait. No. Oh my god, he's coming back again. Stop it. No. Oh my god. How does he know? Stay away. Stay away. Please go back. Yes, you want grass. It's it's back there. You went too far. Oh, Look at him. He, he don't have no eyes. He has no eyes. All right, I think he's lost. Oh my God. That's not how you lift the cow, but okay. There you go, there's your grass. <laughs> Poor little guy got lost. All right, hurry up and take these back and then pick up the flail so we can take that back as well and then let's go beat all this cereal get some straw out of it and we'll definitely have to automate this we're gonna have to build a whole farm for this wait we want the nope not the seeds want the nope not the seeds straw there we go all right let's see what happens Oh, and then... Oh, that was the base. I got it. We are hurting really bad for logs. Are these outside of the range, maybe? Is that why these aren't getting picked up? What? Badge get. Cool. Made a thousand tools. I mean, my workers made a thousand tools. I didn't do anything. Let's see. Where are our forestry team? Let's see, log collector? It's not these ones. It's gonna be these guys. No, that should totally be in range. Maybe they're just too slow. I think they're just honestly too slow. Good gear. What is a, wait, good gear? Oh, is good gear like this stuff? Oh, I gotta wait for them to Wait, are we waiting on fixing pegs? What's going on with fixing pegs? I think our major holdup is just the, the travel time for these bots to go back and forth to all the storage. I think we're waiting on, is this the same thing? Oh, we got shears, pitchfork. Stab enough cut grass to convert it to a hay bale. Oh, have to keep that in mind in case I ever need that. Crude bucket, crude shears. 
Okay, that's just our upgrades. I real. Oh, here we go. Before he adds anything, I want to see if there's any more I can craft out of this. I can't. So how do I get the gears? Good gear. Panel plus fixing peg. But it's not. What? Or is that a research I still have to do? Maybe that's it. Because it's just a work wood shaping bench. Do I not? Oh, that's not a wood shaping bench. How do I get a wood shaping bench? There it is. I really didn't build. Oh, I didn't build one of these because I was waiting for cranks. That's what it was. All right. Let's hurry up and build this. I think we have enough of everything to build that without any issue. So we need flooring first. So where's our flooring? So it's just gonna be a little two by two. And actually we have no logs, so we can't do that. Let's just build a flooring over here. Let's use these logs. So we need a bunch of planks. We need eight planks. We're out of planks too? What? Oh, true, the, the gears are using a lot of planks right now. What else is using planks? Nothing else should really be using planks. I guess these guys are using planks like crazy. Do we actually need another forestry team? We might actually need another forestry team. I don't think these guys can keep up. 32 trees total, I don't think is enough to supply me. Now, again, maybe it is, and maybe it's just because I have all this stuff trying to craft at once. Everything's hitting like a bottleneck. That could also be the issue more than anything right now. But then again, if that's not the issue, I'll just be waiting around forever, and that's not a good plan. Plus, I'm assuming there is... How much more research is there? We still got all of level 3 to go to and level 4. So there's probably going to be more and more stuff to craft. So if anything, we are probably better off getting a super high abundance of wood now. Because we're probably going to need it no matter what. So I don't think there's really any reason for us to delay it. And just like try to wait this out. Because eventually we're going to need more wood. So I think we should probably expand our forestry team and get, maybe get two more teams and basically double our output. I just don't think we have enough wood being produced right now. So yeah, let's get that going. So let me prepare an area. Let's patch a bunch of bunch of stuff real quick. So we got what, three squares in between? So one, two, three. So this would be it. So it's gonna be like that. Probably shouldn't be digging up this or taking this turf, because I have to dig up all this turf anyways. So yeah, it'll be in this corner, and then it'll be here, here, and here. Alrighty. So I think we got a plan. We got ourselves a plan. Alright, let me put these tools back as well. I don't like holding on to them. Throw that, and the flail. I think, yeah, forestry for sure is their first thing to do. I was debating real quick if I should do something with, like, the cereal crops first. But no, I'm pretty sure wood is way, way more important right now than just getting some straw to make some log cabins. Because what's the point in getting straw for log cabins if we don't even have logs to make the cabins in the first place? So, yeah. We'll handle that on the next episode. We'll expand and try to get two more forestry teams on the next episode. Hopefully it doesn't take too long, especially because we're already out of wood. And we will go from there. So until then, have a good one, everyone.